Hey everyone, I'm visiting the Grand Rongo Arsito Museum in Semarang. This is a great place to collect tons of words and build your vocabulary. This is the entrance. You can buy tickets here at affordable price. This place is spacious, family-friendly, and student-friendly. Perfect for school outing too. Is there anything better than experiencing a new place with our friends? Let's explore it. Today I'm exploring Building D, which has extensive collections of cultural artifacts. It begins with a set of gamelan with a famous wooden instrument, gambang. A few steps away, you can find an old and sturdy bike that once belonged to PT Pos Indonesia. This bike was used to deliver packages. Look at the large bike rack and its unique stand. Unlike that of a regular bike, this stand is installed at the front to support the weight of the parcels and boxes. Still in the same room, you can see the mannequin displays of Japanese traditional wedding costumes from Surakarta, Kudus, Semarang, Pekalongan, and Banyumas. Since the theme is about wedding, look at this traditional wedding bed called Pasren. This belongs to Santong, a main bedroom of a Japanese house. The room is decorated with beautifully carved and colored wood frame. In front of it, you can find the Loro Blonyo couple. It's a pair of Japanese bride and groom figures that symbolizes fertility, not only for marriage but also for rice harvest. Rice farming is very important for Japanese people because it's a staple food. And right here, we have a small sentong room with curtain. After exploring the first floor, let's go upstairs to the wayang and other art performance room. Here you can find another set of gamelan. As you know that gamelan is the backbone of a leather puppet show. Oh, for your information, Puppets are not only made of leather, but could be of grass, like wayang sukat here, of wood, paper, metal, and of course, also performed by human dancers. These famous figures of Punakawan are significant characters in a wayang orang show. They often reflect the real stories of people's lives. Art performances also show how the Japanese maintain harmonious life alongside other entities, visible or invisible. Barongan is a mystical dance show that attracts viewers in rural areas in the past. It features mask dance and bamboo horse dance. And so did the Nini Tolong show. Prior to electricity, people would find the magical moments under the full moon, with dancing shadows, lit by bamboo torches, blown by cold wind, and watched the doll moved on its own. You can even feel the vibes till today. That's for now. There are still many things to explore at this museum, so why don't you try it yourself? From Rongo Varsito Museum, Semarang, Central Java, with Orange Tabby, English for Indonesian learners.